Hi everyone, this is a different kind of video, but as a journalist covering this story every single day, I see how so many people feel sad and feel isolated, but that's something that is universal right now. People around the world are going through this at the same time, even if you can't see them. So I reached out to people in different countries asking what they're doing while they're apart to stay positive. Despite our social isolation, we are more connected than ever. People are being a lot more creative with how to achieve everyday tasks. Make a list. I've done yoga, I've cooked, I ordered a crock pot, I rearranged my living room. I'm about to start reading. I proposed and she said yes. Since we've been isolating, I've been spending more time with natural reading the opportunity to catch up properly with so many people that I haven't done in ages. <laughs> the opportunity to have real quality time with my family. Sleeping in. Sleeping in. Painting. 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 I personally planted a vegetable garden that I've been wanting to plant for a long time. Read more and do yoga. In these difficult moments, uh, I'm going to do more things in my social media. It's easier for us to communicate and virtually chat to catch up on everything. A startup called Stalactive connects senior citizens with helpers to run daily errands and to call 10 to 30 minutes a day to prevent social isolation. Spending quality time with my family is one of the most things that I'm doing here in this quarantine. Here we are on the village green having a uh, pandemic picnic. We are trying to carry on our daily lives with a smile on our faces. And uh, we want to remember you that uh, virus maybe attacks your lungs, uh, but uh, cannot attack your soul. Cheers. Cheers. Bye. Bye.